Mm -hmm. All right, Lifetime's Ooh, new reality show, Marrying Millions, showcases the stresses on a relationship when one person has a lot more money than the other person. Welcome back to Access Live with our guest co-host, Melissa Chatein. Ah, Sharn Lourdes and Megan Thomas are one of the couples featured on the show, and they're facing some inner family backlash mm -hmm. over the relationship, and it's stalling their trip down the aisle. Welcome, Sean and Megan. Hi, yeah. thanks for having me. Okay, so you talked about going in for an interview as an assistant, and then you became the girlfriend. <laughs> tell, tell us how you met, like, what was the first meeting actually like? Oh, it's complicated. I mean, I was going to UCLA studying communications. I came from this background where my mom was a school teacher and my dad was a firefighter, so I really wanted to help others. Mm -hmm. And I saw that Sean had a position open at the Lourdes Foundation, his charity. So I came to the meeting and he was 15 minutes late. Mm. Oh. Uh, yeah. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> so first impressions. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm telling you. And so, what, and so when you show up 15 minutes later, it was, I couldn't believe it. I, I, I was like, where'd she go? And she just I left. I was him. gone. Yeah, I left. Good. That's what I would do. Smart girl. I don't wait for anyone. That's good. So then how did the sparks happen? Well, he, after that, he found me on Facebook and he, you know, added me and just started looking at what I was doing and then, you know, the rest is history. Okay. He tried so to get a date after that. Oh, wow. So you guys moved in pretty quickly. So you lived in a house with cockroaches and I had this, like, college dorm life and then how long after did you move in with him i mean all of my school i was living in these like disgusting places and i moved in with sean like literally the day i met him it was like instant spark so i left the cockroaches went to the hollywood hills and that's kind of talk about in. moving on up <laughs> <laughs> yeah and so okay. so sean were you did you ever have like a red flag like oh, okay yeah. She's she's down, but like she's like really down. Like, was it? Did you ever think that maybe she was into you for the millions? Never. You know, she's a, she's brilliant. Like a UCLA grad. I mean, when I found out she's never had a B in her life, I was impressed. Yeah. I was like, straight A student, dean's list, a lot of things like that. Uh, communication. So when I when I got to know her in person. You know, she, she was hard to get on a date, first of all. It took me a year and a half to oh, get her on oh, a date. Oh, okay. She kept canceling and postponing canceling, and that just made me want her more. So it was like... Take note, ladies. Interesting. So you guys are engaged now. Yes. And you are you are excited about walking down the aisle, but it, it sounds like, Sean, you've got some reservations. Take a look. My parents' divorce made me afraid of marriage, to be honest. And it's tough for me still to even think I'm going to get married. I mean, I know I'm marrying the right person, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. Wow. So that that <laughs> clip is a little shocking to me because you guys have a five-year-old, I believe? A three-and-a-half. A three-and-a-half-year-old. And you, you're, this is your family. So you don't want to marry the wife, the mother of your child? Of course I do. I mean, it was in my heart I want to, but honestly, I come from a family of divorce. My dad's on his third wife. She's half his age. I mean, he's got a prenup with every wife he gets, and it's about two inches thick. Yeah. And so she, he once, he, he emailed me the same prenup he gave his current uh, wife. They're not married. They're just, you know, she signed a prenup. And okay. he wants me to be the same way. He's like, sign this, you know, with her. And it, it, it's just... It's difficult for me to think about marriage. I, I never, I didn't think it was for me. It's and yeah. and, it's, and it, honestly, I still think it's not for me. I don't. Megan, would you yeah. would you sign a prenup? No, I wouldn't sign a prenup. Okay. I feel like... That's the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> so that's the, so right <laughs> now that's the issue. That's the kind of sticking point. One of if the we problems. Were... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I just feel like it's like setting yourself up for failure if you sign a prenup before you even get married. Okay, but you already have a child together, and in the show, you want to have one more. Will you have another child before? You have to wait and see if we have another. Oh, one. well okay. played. Okay. Well, before we get out of here, we did have a, a, a question from a viewer, Trisha from Seattle. I mean, it, the question was pretty clear: Will you two get married? That also, you'll have to wait and see. You know. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All, All right. right. Well, you know. Be strong. Be strong, girl. I'm <laughs> Mary looking Millions out for you. airs <laughs> Wednesday night at 10 on Lifetime. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm tuning in. Oh, yeah. It's Up juicy. next. <laughs> if you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now.